Imogen and Alan help Hawa on her kilometre long walk to get water. It's a trip she makes twice a day. Nothing. No water. <laughs> no water. No water. No water. <laughs> what will people drink if so there's no water? 35,000 people and no water. <laughs> the temperature hovers around 40, just as it does on most days. It's just absolutely parched and... Uh, and if this camp's been here since 2009 and they haven't sorted the water issue out after three yeah. years. And I'd have thought absolutely right at the top of the list of the needs of, of refugees in a, a hot, dusty desert place is adequate, safe drinking water. And the UN is not providing that. And if they're failing in their duty of care uh, to people, um, then, then that is the worst failure of all. As somebody going through the journey that Abdi went on, it's like there's issues along the way with everything. Like, I'm frustrated and baffled constantly along the way of, of like, how is anybody going to solve these problems? The whole industry of poor people over there going, well, gee, if I take a boatload of illegals to Australia, Mr Boom Boom gives me, you know, enough money to feed my family for a year.